Hey guys, what's going on? I was trumping around the internet the other day and I came across this screen recorder slash video editor all in one called Go Play Editor. It's a all in one service that I've never seen before and much less I haven't seen any other services actually offer this. So what I do, I went ahead and well, I hit him up on Twitter. I went up onto their Twitter checking out their interactions with the community and I wanted to see what that audience was like and you know what there's not a whole lot of people talking about this software in fact you don't really see anybody tagging them anything saying they did a good job you don't hear anything about this software at all and I was trying to figure out why so they bounced back but before I go further I just want to stress to you guys that in no way are they paying me to do this video actually it's quite the contrary I wanted to do this video to show you guys an alternative out there that actually exists that offers quite a bit for the amount of money you could pay into it and that is why I'm doing this video. They offer quite a bit in forms of value to the customer and it looks like it takes anything from a laptop to a mobile device to record videos and have you going on your way to starting a YouTube page. That's why I'm doing this. So they hit me back. They hit me back with a pro lifetime license and I was really surprised that they would do that and you know I was like wow so you go to the free stuff it's not that much it's pretty minimum but you know what check out the pro stuff it's actually pretty cheap and you know you might be able to find value somewhere there for you so we're gonna go look into the recorder now this is the recorder this has all the different settings from 720p all the way to 1080 and you can do custom you can record at least what the site says you can record 4k 60 frames per second you can change the different types of uh, megabits per second that you're recording at, which means you could go anywhere from 10 kbps to 60 to 90 kbps, which I thought was really cool. So I went ahead and checked it out, and well, now you're gonna, you should see the editor portion coming up, and this is where all the footage is going to be coming from, right here. So this is all the footage that we took with the recorder that we're going to be showing you in this video. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I was pretty impressed with the sort of wide a range of things that you could do with this thing as far as recording. You could either record in lossless, you could record in a 1920 by 1080 setting, you can record in sub HD if you felt like it all the way down to 460p. I mean, there's quite a bit here. And like I said, this is all video footage that I took using this software and that right there is an imported file from a one-on-one -on -one that I did with GoGit. Like I'm saying, you can really import almost every file type you have on your computer into the software if you indeed only wish to use this as an editor and it offers you a sound table, which I thought was pretty interesting. I've never had to use sound tables before. Plus they give you a lot of different transitions, pretty basic stuff. It's not the most advanced things, but you know what, for what you pay for this product, and how it's a double purpose software, you get quite a bit and I think that's really a plus. And the filter options are even pretty decent. Yes, I know Vegas offers this as well as does Adobe, but for the price you're paying for a double purpose software, I, I can't stress this to you enough, a double purpose software, you get quite a bit um, for your money is worth. And I think that's where I'm so into this software is because it's so cheap versus what you get. And I will actually do another video depending on how this video does, explaining the exact uh, way and how you should probably render your videos in the software and if it's actually any good. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'll let you know if that software can do well rendering videos. But I can tell you right now, as a video recorder, it does a pretty damn good job. And you're going to see clips from here on out with those gameplay footages and I'm gonna have the different settings that I use for the encoding options of this software labeled in each video and I hope it actually helps you but we're gonna go ahead and start that right now secure the objectives in this area insurgents will try to retake them to set up defenses if you find any of their caches destroy them it'll disorganize them and help spin them out if you see a cache destroy it Hey, we're taking Alpha. I'm not seeing any hostiles at Alpha. 
missile incoming. Okay, so that was my IW4X and Insurgency Clips. Let me know what you think down below. This program does definitely have security hook issues with BattleEye. So when you play games like Insurgency, Counter-Strike, or even Black Squad, it's going to have issues because of that software. Usually that's mainly where all of my issues have been so far is with the security hooks when it comes to recording video gameplay. So I hope that actually kind of helps you. Now the next clips are going to be all Black Squad with different integrities being recorded at at different intervals showing you guys the possibilities what you can and can't do with this enjoy Hey guys, if you made this far, I just want to say thank you for watching. There is something that I did discover while recording this video, and I want to let the developers know. For some reason, the footage that you take with the screen recording software doesn't look all that great in the video editor. It looks choppy and sometimes laggy, so I wanted to let you guys know ahead of time that that video footage that you are viewing within the actual software itself doesn't necessarily look like that when you're actually looking through it on a different editing software, say like a movie 
Maker or even Adobe or even Vegas. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. And again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the nice folks over at Coolpix for hooking me up with this software. And if there's any other companies out there that are willing to do that for me, that want me to go ahead and check out their software, please email me at brimstonesgaming at gmail.com. Follow me on Twitter. I am on all the time. Please let me know down in the comments and what you guys think about this software. And I am out. Peace out, guys.